So we brought this horse down town. This is the main road into town. And all we want him to do, he's only got a soft rubber bit in, is to walk up this road and just do it nice and quietly, you know, basically. Well, in a walk or trot, whatever we ask him to do, but not to be concerned about the traffic. That's why he's down here, but he's dressage trained. You know, um, like riding, I mean, dressage. And we've had quite a bit of a problem with him, and we think, not that I know at all, and I'd love to know whether I'm right, but we think his harness is giving him a clue to, uh, you know, so he's had to get used to the harness more so than another horse, because the trace is coming down his side, they touch him where the you know, the rider's leg would be, and hill, and uh, we had a, <laughs> we had a long time, and I mean a serious long time, of him doing flying changes, and he'd do them constantly, up the road, and he'd be quite happy doing it, but he, that's what he would be doing, so we think we've cracked it, but then when you think you've cracked it, you normally haven't. Um, but he seems to now, so what we've done, we haven't done anything to remove the harness, so by that we could tie the harness or put a loop to keep the harness, you know, by putting a loop on the shards, you can keep the harness off his flanks, but that wouldn't be any good. Um, he's got to be able to accept the two disciplines with no trouble, and we think we've got it. I don't mean to say we have, but you know, time will tell. But he's a lovely, lovely horse, he really is. Right there, for instance, see? That is a typical thing that, that he will do. He comes straight back, there was no reason for that, no noise interference, nothing at all um, that you could think would cause him to do that, yeah? But uh, I'll just let him have a little trot now. So there's not many horses in the country that do a flying change in harness. <laughs> you see him there now, look. And he's only got a soft rubber bit in. Just walk, baby. Good boy. So. He does, you know, and he's, he's got no problem with doing it, and I, he obviously thinks that's what I'm asking him to do. So, it was constant before, you know, and, and in your transitions from walk to trot, from trot to trot on, you know, to a faster paced trot, he'd start doing it again. But he's lovely in the mouth now, he's soft as anything, you can drive him, you know, in a very light contact. He's only got a soft piece of rubber in his mouth, as I've said. And he's a lovely boy, he's a nice horse. You know, he's genuinely nice, kind horse, you know, he's, he wants to please you. Now, what the reason is for this I don't know I mean I seriously don't know I can't understand what the reason is for it um, so if it is the harness why does it happen sometimes and not another time I, don't, I just don't know it's got me you know fuck. we could change his harness entirely you know what you could do is is move everything down the shaft so the yarn is still moved on the swingle tree but it would be held out against the shaft so he had nothing touching his body also what we've done we've added more harness so although he's single we've put long bridging on and drove him with that you know so he's got even more contact on his side but just every now and again it seems to me oh this is where I do a flying change, you know. Um, even where I put the reins on his back, if I have them that side or that before, I would put that there 
and then you wouldn't you wouldn't know that like then you wouldn't know whether that's a slight change on his mouth um, that would cause it but as far as you know and he looks superb you know honestly he really does look a treat um, lovely beautiful head carriage I mean obviously that comes from the dressage um, but to recreate that in harness with a soft rubber bit is well without being you know big headed it's quite an achievement it takes a bit of work but he's perfectly happy you know that's the thing come over come over folks there's a good boy My darling boy. Wave him up the inside, so Probably got a great big lorry come out of his inside now. You can see, he don't bother at all. So, as far as our job goes, you know, getting him safe. Um, confident, happy. We've done that, but it's just this because it would, you know, if you would add him as a driving horse, it would unnerve you if all of a sudden he went into doing blind changes, wouldn't it? Um, but as far as you know, training him, as far as the traffic goes, his behaviour, you know. He's calm as anything in this situation. He's not upset. He's not anything at all. I'm not hanging on to him. He's only got a soft bit of rubber in his mouth. Well, I wouldn't hang on to all, so I wouldn't consider I'd, I'd uh, trained all if it was, you know, you had to pull on it to get it to do anything. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I know they say firm contact at all times. You want a contact, but it don't have to be firm. You don't have to have a curve chain. You don't have to have an iron bit. You know, with 300 different types of bits you can get. If you can do it with a soft piece of rubber on a snaffle, no cantilever whatsoever, the horse has got to be happy and content and certainly controllable. We wouldn't have him out here, would we, in this heavy traffic, put ourselves or him in a position where we could get, you know, badly injured. But he's a lovely, lovely boy. I do like him, you know, and I just feel like a bit, um, you know, if all she's at the best leveler in the world, what I mean by that, when you think you understand and know, you realise you know very little. There's so much to learn. And that's why one of the things I say all the time, you'd like another lifetime to try and get it right. But he's such a lovely boy. You know, he's a kind temperament horse loves a bit of affection and would do anything for you as long as he understands what you want him to do and he's a real treat you know he seriously is when you go in the stable in the morning he's pleased to see you he doesn't show a great deal of emotion funny enough but you can see you know his ears prick up he looks at you and that's not because he wants his food or anything he's already got plenty of age in front of him and they don't get fed till later in the day anyway, you know, they don't, well put it this way, they don't get fed at a certain time because he might be, on one particular day, he might be the first to all start. Well, you don't want to feed him a load of short feed and then take him out straight away, so he would have it when he come back, you know. So it's not like they're used to being fed at a certain time. And he's pleased to see you, and when you go in with him, he'll come over to you and, you know, likes you to make a fuss of him. A real nice horse. An unusually mild. So he's basically black with four white feet, but his offside front goes right up and over his withers, but don't continue down the other side. So he looks quite funny um, in some ways. But he didn't finish where the dorsal stripe is on a done horse, you know, up his spine, because he would look funny then, you know, more so because he looked black with four whites one way and then one white leg the other, yeah. But I quite like that. He's got a nice uh, nice bit of movement, but here we are in this heavy traffic, and this is a dressage chain, trained horse. She's not been used to the road or anything. Um, 
I don't want to say how old he is because I can't remember um, so many horses and you can't remember them all. Yeah, maybe ten year old, maybe older. Yeah. So we've done our job. We see there, for instance, right then. Now, is that something that just touches him and just, you know, slaps him in a certain way up the side? The trace does, and he goes, "Oh yes, flying change," or I've got to change pace, or I'm going to do something else. It's just hard to say, isn't it? You know, it's real hard to say. But when I can get him to trot, he's beautiful. He's not heavy on your hands. He's, you know, he's just the same as walking. You do a faster trot, you know, you can let him out. Steady, bud. Let him out and you do a faster trot. Definitely a little treat, you know, he's a lovely boy. But it's not that he's trying to run away or he's unhappy in the vehicle. As you can see, he's perfectly happy in the vehicle. That don't bother him at all. But he's getting some sort of instruction. We think he's from the traces, I just don't know. But obviously we've got to get him used to it. You know, and the way to get him used to it is to keep driving him gently, softly you know, kindly, and let him gradually get used to, when I'm in this vehicle and something touches me on the side, I mustn't react, yeah? But when someone's riding me, that's the time I've got to react. And what we do, we'll put a rider on his back, possibly, the young lady that owns him, um, we'll put a rider on his back and, uh, Steady, bud. So he, you know, will help him distinguish between the two. When I'm being driven, I don't do it, and I do when I'm, you know. So, okay. come over, baby. I have to have my code pilot up there just telling me it's all right to come over. But I'm so, so pleased with him. How, how could you not be? He's an older horse, and we've done this with him. Here he is out. You wouldn't get a more busy road, heavy traffic, roundabouts, road markings, um, and he copes beautifully. But whether we can get him to, you know, just how long it will take, you know, you've got to think of the financial side of things for the owner. Um, to get him out of this, doing these flying changes. And also, I think as well, I, I don't know, and I, I don't know, I'm the first one to admit it, if I don't know, I don't know, but also the pressure you put on his mouth, even with this rubber bit, could also be having some bearing on his what he's doing. I think he'd take a, a cue, uh, a signal from that. If I tighten him up a little bit, yeah, like sometimes you could just tighten him a little bit, and he, he'll change to a to a jig jog trot, you know, like real slow like that. Come back, trot. So that's your normal trot. When you come from walk to trot, there we go, the old flying change. <laughs> you know, if I trained him to do that from back here, I'd be quite proud of myself, yeah. Oh, my baby. And I'd love to know how to, how, if it's something I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing that's causing it, you know. So I can let him go on a slack rein like that. Yeah. And 
when they go to canter quite happily, but then that's part of what they do in the dressage. And, you know, maybe something I'm doing with my hands, I'd just like to know what it is. <laughs> He's a lovely chap, he really is, you know, I like all the horses that come here. But, you know, when they, when they try and give you their heart and soul, and he does, I mean, he genuinely tries to please you. Well, that's the way I understand the horse, how I read him. He genuinely tries to please you. So, how can we, you know, you can't be, like, anything with him can you like upset with him in any way because he's he's doing what he thinks you want you know obviously either from my hands the harness or a combination of the two um just gets him to do his party trick <laughs> but he's a lovely boy so if i take him from now like this you know trot trot Trot. Up there, lovely, slack rain. When they go to canter, you don't run away or do anything like that. And if I just show you here, look, there's a canter there, I'll just use my two thumb and forefinger, and he's only got a rub of it. Steady. Good boy, and he comes straight back. So, I don't know. But I, I love this, you know, it drives you crazy trying to work it out, but at the same time I love it. Because that's how we learn, that's how we advance, that's how we are able to help. But this might arise again and what we learn here will help the next things we do. You know, every day you're learning, every day you're picking up something, every day you find a little thing that will work with one horse, won't work with another, but it'll work with them and he's confident be safe. Look where we've just driven him and he's happy. You know, he's not unhappy at all. You know, he's he's lovely, you know, this is nice. He's not pulling snatching the reins out of my hands or anything like that. He's just going along lovely. So I've just handed the reins to the other trainer Re who works, you know, we work together on these horses and she's taking him now. Slight contact with him. He's going uphill, you can see him. And he's you know taking this uphill, but his head carriage is still lovely. Just dropped it very slightly to get the power into his quarters to come through. And he's going up there lovely. Look. driving there and it's always good to have another pair of hands on a horse this car here look the wind blowing under it walk on good boy go on walk up come on good boy and there he is got his face on it and that's filling with air right underneath him like that yeah you see as it moves look you see it coming up you jump down and just show Anyone can put horse in the shards, anyone 
get it to pull a cart up the road. Training is that. If you imagine you was going down a road and uh, you're behind a lorry and the lorry's got a big flapping sheet on, you don't want your horse being panicked or worried, do you? So I'm going to hold the camera now. Reed's going to pick the sheet up and put it over his head there or lift it up, you know, a bit in front of his face. You see there, I'm not much good at this filming job, but... Do re uh, if it's over his ear roll. If it'll hang there for a minute. So see there, look, he's got his head caught up in it. But he don't panic or do anything. And he's not being, I'm not holding on to the reins, you can see I've got the reins slack. That's blowing now. It's different just to putting them in. See, what you've got to do is build their confidence. And this horse didn't come with a great deal of confidence. You know, he, he was a bit... Uh, what's it? So, if I just bring his head up now. Come back, baby, a little bit. Come back. Walk up. Walk on. And he'll go back there where I'll put him, look. And investigate him quite happily. And that's confidence. As I'll keep saying, and I'll say it again, safe, confident and happy. The horse is happy, he's not worn out, puffing out, he drove him old or anything like that. He's just been out, had a little trot round, just learning his job. But he'll stand there with that doing that. Now this is um This is what this is what I'm trying to say to you. When you train horse for driving, this is what it is. Putting it between the shelves isn't you know, like that, look, like, yeah, lovely, yeah? I'm not holding him, he's, all he's got is a soft bit of rubber in his mouth. Um, and that will flap round his head and he won't care. And he didn't care because we, you know, conjoled him, kidded him, let him build his own courage, you know, his own, you know, safe, his own confidence, you know, he feels good in his shot or he wouldn't do it, would he? Obviously, he'd be pulling back and be frightened. You see it blowing right up there and he don't mind. Okay. Stand there while he cools off, and then we must cut the tea and wash him off. 